is Charlie Music, and this is my resurrection story. I was fortunate to uh, grow up in a Christian home with a godly mother who took me to church regularly. She started taking me to church about nine months before I was born, and I had the old-fashioned drug problem. She drugged me to church on Sunday morning, she drugged me to church on Sunday night, and she drugged me to church on Wednesday night. And I actually had a great attendance record at church where I went to church for eight straight years without missing a single day of Sunday school. Even though I was going to church, that did not make me godly or have a relationship with Christ. And um, I was often misbehaving. I mean, raise your hand if you've ever been in a fist fight at church. Actually, they've got to raise both hands because I've been in more than one fist fight at church. We got a new youth pastor named James Gilbert. And when I was 14 years old, he continued to teach us that we needed to have more than church attendance, that we needed to have a relationship with Christ and make him Lord of our life. And that teaching led, led me to give my heart over completely to Christ. And I um, gave my heart to Christ when I was 14 years old. Uh, it was about three months later. I'd, I'd like to say that God found me just in time because about three months later, my mother was killed in a car wreck. And a few years after that, my father died of Lou Gehrig's disease. So this was a time in my life where having that relationship with Christ carried me through some hard times. After many years of looking, I finally found a wonderful wife in Dana and uh, been blessed with two beautiful girls, two wonderful girls who fortunately behaved like Dana did when they're little, when she was little rather than behaving like I do. When I was little, to the best of my knowledge, they've had no fist fights at church. When Dan and I first got married, she had grown up in the Church of Christ, and I had grown up Baptist. So we, we compromised by going to, a, uh, started attending Jason's Chapel, Church of the Nazarene. So we needed something a little different than either one of us had grown up with. And uh, at the time, we were living out in Poplar Grove, which is a long way from anywhere. People drive towards town to hunt. And from there, um, when we moved back to Waverly, uh, the pastor at uh, Jason Chapel actually recommended we come here to Waverly First Church in Nazarene so we could be involved and plugged in where we live. And I remember one thing in the church here, teaching a Sunday school lesson. It was uh, the last Sunday we had a Sunday school lesson in December of 2012, and the example was the parable of the pearl. And in the pearl, um, talks about us seeking after a pearl of great wealth. And uh, one of the reasons I remember that particular lesson was uh, a little over a week later, the Friday after Christmas, my wife Dana had a stroke. And a uh, very scary time, very difficult time, but God has carried us through this time, through these hard times. At this point, um, I still have no idea why but um, I do believe that God is still going to use these hard times for His glory, and I don't know what that purpose is right now. You know, I, I really do believe that God had His hand in preparing me, preparing us through this time, because even the uh, neurologist that Dana saw when she was there in the hospital had the name Pearl. So I think God really helped uh, build my faith and strength through that time. To appreciate the church during the time after Dana's stroke coming together to love us as a family and to um, help take care of us and be with us at that time. I'm Charlie and I have been crucified with Christ and I no longer live but Christ lives in me.